What's up guys, this is Chris from AndroidKit.com. I'm here with the Nexus 6, I mean the Nexus 9. Today I'm gonna to take you through what I think are the five coolest features of Android 5.0 Lollipop. So let's take a look. Number one is of course the lock screen. We've seen plenty of this already and I'm sure you will not get sick of seeing it. You may have used lock screen notifications previously, but you've never used them quite like you have in Android 5.0 Lollipop. Of course, all of your notifications will exist on your lock screen. You'll also have access to your quick notifications and of course, some other cool features that we'll get into in a little while. But once you get used to lock screen notifications, there's really no going past them. Number two has got to be sharing. I'm a really big fan of just how easy it is to share your device once it's running the Android 5.0 update. You can access it straight from the lock screen to loan your device to one of your friends. You can add multiple accounts. You also have other cool features for sharing a device such as screen pinning. Once you've enabled the setting in your recents menu, you'll see the little pin option down the bottom here. So when you hit that, whatever device, uh, whatever app you're in will basically stay stuck to the screen. So you can loan your, your device to friends, children, whatever, and they won't be able to go anywhere and access anything else until you disable it. The third coolest thing I think about Android 5.0 is a feature called trusted devices or I guess personal unlocking depending on how you want to call it. So if you go into your security and we set a pattern we don't need encryption. Okay, so set your pattern. Once you've got a pattern or pin or something like that on your device, you can then go down here to Smart Lock. Now, Smart Lock will ask you to set, uh, to redo your pattern, of course, and then you can add different devices, whether it's a smartwatch, uh, an NFC badge, anything like that, uh, that will basically let you unlock your device automatically whenever that device is within range of your phone or tablet, as the case may be. It's fantastic and it saves you heaps of time dealing with pin locks. Now, maybe not the most exciting option of all, but something that's gonna make a massive difference to your everyday usage on Android is going to be the battery saver. Of course, it's hidden up here, it's very, very tiny, but it's going to make a massive difference to you in the near future. So battery saver will obviously do what you've already seen in other major flagships doing already. It's going to basically minimize everything that your phone or tablet can do to get you as much additional battery life as possible. The best part of it though is that it's now baked into stock Android. And number five, where would we be without the good old Easter egg? Let's take a look, what do we have in here? Hmm, interesting, not so interesting. What's going on here? Well, it's just a little bit of a scrolling screen. And of course, you've probably seen this already, but anyone that's sad that Flappy Bird disappeared, well, now it's a part of Android. Gone are the days of the boring, <laughs> uninteresting Easter egg. Now you can frustrate yourself no end, and there's not much you can do about it because it's a part of Android right from the get-go. I guess if that's not exactly your thing, then the rest of the material design overhaul on Android 5.0 is going to keep you pretty happy as well. Android has never looked this good, and we're pretty excited to see just how far all of the other third-party app developers take the new material design guidelines. So till next time guys, that's it from me. Let us know what your favorite features of Android 5.0 are. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video if you have.